Hey guys, welcome to DJ MTV Daily News Updates, your WhatsApp channel for everything news and gist happening in Nigeria and all over the world. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video, please do not forget to take a step further, like, share and comment on this video. Please do follow us on all our social media channels on Facebook, on YouTube and also on Instagram. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. Let's go straight up into the main news. Group says presidency should be open to all zone in 2023. Plus, primate Ayodele says Tinubu has planted some seed and it is time to avert as presidential ambition of Tinubu, Osibajo, and Obi dead on arrival says Sore. Hey guys, this is still DJM TV Daily News updates. A group called the Northern Advocate for Good Governance. NAFGG, an umbrella pressure group comprises of 19 states in the northern region, has kicked against what it terms illogical pressure by some interest group and self-serving politicians that the 2023 presidency must be zoned to the southern part of the country. In a statement that was released by the group at the end of its meeting, they insisted that the 2023 presidential race is open to all zones, adding that it must not be limited to a particular zone. Addressing a World Press Conference in Abuja, the national coordinator of the group, Mala Mahmoud Mohamed, noted that the Northeast and North Central region have distinguished themselves and have people who are qualified to run for the office of the president in their various political affiliations. The statement reads us, We, the Northern Advocate for Good Governance, NAFGG, an umbrella pressure group of the 19 states in the Northern region, has kicked against the illogical pressure being mounted by some interest group who insisted that the presidency in the 2023 must be zoned to the southern part of the country. We have stated without any reservation that the race for the presidency should be open to all zones and most importantly zones that have not produced the president of our country while calling on political parties to prioritize experience competence and capacity in choosing or zoning their presidential tickets the coordinator of the group also stressed that there is need for political parties to look deeply and search for that one person that can rescue Nigeria from its current problem. In the possibility that the All Progressive Congress, the People's Democratic Party, the All Progressive Grand Alliance, the Young Progressive Party or any other political party who wishes to zone their presidential ticket, the North East and the North Central should be considered first because these two zones have not produced the president of Nigeria. We will not condone twisted and half-baked conclusion from 1999 to 2023, the South would have ruled Nigeria for 14 years, while the North for only 10 years. Why should we then prioritize the South to take over what the North has fallen short of? If we have to zone the presidency to any part of the country, then priority should be given to the zones in the North that haven't had the opportunity to produce a president. If this is done, then it will guarantee equity, fairness and justice. The statement reads, This is still DJM TV Daily News Update. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video or you are a returning subscriber, please do not forget to take a step further, like, share and comment on all our videos. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook and also on YouTube. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. Let's go back straight into the main news. Meanwhile, on other news, as the 2023 presidential election draws closer, the leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church Primate Elijah Ayodele on Wednesday has won the presidential aspirant and the national leader of All Progressive Congress, APC, as Siwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu, consigning his political career. According to Primate Ayodele, in a statement signed by his media aide, Osu Oluwatosi, he said Tinibu had planted some seed which the time has come for him to harvest it. 
Tinibu has planted some seed and it is time to harvest it. Unfortunately, they are not palatable seeds and they are about to come after him as nemesis. The shifters of the All Progressive Congress, Ahmed Ashwaju Bola Tinibu, will be betrayed by those whom he has brought up. He will be betrayed by those whom he brought up. I see his past coming to haunt him in All Progressive Congress. In his political journey, he has hijacked power from some leaders and the same thing is going to happen to him in the All Progressive Congress, Primate Ayodele said. The clergyman, Primate Ayodele, further said that Tinubu Ahmed should not bother to struggle for the soul of his political career and that law of karma will apply to his political life. It is only God's mercy that can save him from what is going to befall him, Primate Ayodele said. This is still DJ MTV Daily News update. Meanwhile, on other news, the convener of revolution now, Omoyele Sore, a former presidential candidate, has described the presidential ambition of the All Progressive Congress shifter Asiwaju Bola Tinibu. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and the former governor of Anambra State, Spitz Obi, as dead on arrival. According to him, the organic structures have taken over from the criminal transactional structure of the Terminators. It could be recalled that DJMTV has earlier reported that some time ago, Ahmed Tinibu has declared his interest to contest in the 2023 presidential election after he said he visited President Mamadou Buhari at the state house in Abuja. And according to him, President Mamadou Buhari has approved to his contesting the election in 2023, but only asked him to consult widely. But on the other hand, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo has not yet come out to declare his intention to contest the presidency in 2023. But a lot of people have come out to say that they want him to contest and want Ahmed Tinubu to step down for him. On the other hand, Peter Obi, the former governor of Anambra State, just recently declared his intention to run for the presidency in 2023. But reacting to this in a post on his Facebook, so he wrote, Three weeks ago, you would think the election has been decided when Jagaban of Corruption, Bola Tinibu, declared his intention to run. But soon, he will discover that his ambition was dead on arrival. He took his amblers and flee to London. Then, hashtag Minimi Buhari showed up. I am referring to the cowardly Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. You would think he would win the election, but as soon as he was challenged about his current asthma assignment, hope began to fade for the law professor who constantly claimed his hands are tied. It is now the turn of the hashtag Chinese Pandora paperman Pete Obi Ha. He is gonna open a GoFundMe to finance his campaign after all the fund looted from Anambra State during his tenure as governor. This too is dead upon discovery, just as transparent do do. The truth is that we have changed course. No more hanging our patrimony to deceitful, deceptive comment that real Nigeria. We are now apologetic about it. The organic structure have taken over from the criminal transactional structure of the Terminators, he added. This is still DJ MTV Daily News update. So guys, here we have it. We have seen um, the former presidential candidate, So Reo, has come out to say that the presidential ambition of um, Vice President Emil Sibanjo, Ahmed Bola Tinibu, and former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi is dead on arrival. And he has given his reason why he thinks it is dead on arrival, as Nigerians will no longer want to vote those kind of people into power. But in recent time, we have seen some Nigerians who have come out to say that they prefer Emil Sibanjo to become the president than Ahmed Bola Tinibu becoming the president. And some persons have said that power should be shifted to the southeast. And P2B has come out to say if it is shifted to the southeast, then I will run for the presidency in 2023. So guys, what do you think about what we have just said? Calling this three our presidential ambition dead on arrival. Again, we saw some group of persons who have said that the presidency should be open to all zone 
if it should be zoned to a particular region, then it should be the northeast and the north central. And they did not um, call up the southeast, who have never had the chance to produce a president. So, guys, what are your thoughts and comments? Drop them with us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. And as a way of reminder, do not forget that we are also on Facebook and on YouTube at DJMTV. Please check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. You can also place your advert with us at DJMTV and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. Until I come your way with another exciting edition of DJMTV Daily News, thank you for watching. Yeah! DJ Kingy. DJ Kingy.